Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to easily add a singer transition to your live streams and recordings in XSplit Broadcaster, just like this. Really cool, right? Stay tuned. So you may be wondering what is a stinger transition? Well, you probably just saw the example earlier on in the intro part of this video. We switch from one scene to the other. That is a stinger transition. It's an animated transition that helps you switch from one scene to the other in a very professional looking and eye appealing way. Now, a lot of stinger transitions have alpha channels or transparencies to them. So as you're switching from one scene to the next, it slowly reveals the next scene in a very good looking professional manner. Stinger transitions take quite a bit of work to make and can take at least a couple of hours to make one, if not more. That includes all the animation and also possibly including sound into the file as well. But today we're going to focus on just how to easily implement a free one into XSplit Broadcaster. And also I'll show you some other resources you can use to find some you can buy for pretty inexpensive prices online. So let's switch back over to the other scene and I want you to watch one more time this stinger transition built into XSplit Broadcaster. That's pretty cool, right? It looks really professional and gives a nice look for the video. Again, these can be done whether you're live streaming or of course even just creating video content by local recording. So let's get into it today. Okay, so here we are in XSplit Broadcaster. Again, the idea of a stinger transition is just to transition from one scene to the other in a very kind of eye appealing way with this animated transition. Uh, XSplit Broadcaster also includes some um, other transitions for free within the software itself. So let's look at those. Down here it says uh, transition. We'll click on the little arrow here. And we have all of these basic transitions set up. And these are not stingers, these are just regular transitions built into XSplit Broadcaster. Uh, you have clock, collapse, cut, fades. You can fade to black or white, uh, fanning, uh, moving screens left, right, top and bottom, waving, zooming, easing out, and of course, none if you don't want any of that whatsoever. So let's choose fade here. And I'll show you what it looks like to choose fade and transition from this scene to our full webcam screen, just like this. You see, that was a bit of a fade there, kind of just masking the cut a little bit. Rather than a direct cut, it kind of fades from one scene to the next. And we'll go back. Okay, so imagine this, uh, you have your scene set up, whether you have a full kind of webcam scene like this, let's say your next scene is going to be your gaming stream or your gaming recording scene. Uh, you could also have a scene where you have just a chat room. Whatever your scenes are, you can use these transitions to go from one scene to the next and make it look really good. We'll click on Zoom. So Zoom is set up here. You notice the little uh, number here in milliseconds. This is the amount of time the transition actually has to make uh, between the changing of the scenes. The lower the number, the quicker it is. The higher the number, the slower the transition is. And we'll switch over from this scene here over to our full cam once again. That's pretty cool. A little effect of the zooming. I like that a lot. We'll go back. So you can experiment with all of these here. Again, these are already built into XSplit Broadcaster. A lot of people just don't even see these here as they don't use them whatsoever. But I've used these quite a bit in my streams and recordings and they can make things look a lot more professional. So all of these options are here for you today. But let's get into the actual stinger transitions right now. So let's focus on the actual stinger transition. Click the little arrow once again. And what's nice is XSplit Broadcaster actually has a demo stinger transition already built in. And you saw us use it earlier on in this video. Click on stinger transition or hover over it. And it's going to be called demo stinger. Click the little cog wheel here, bring up the settings for it. So edit your stinger name. You can always change name right here, of course, in stinger name and transition point once again. 800 milliseconds. Uh, this is by default. If you change this, it may not look as good. So keep it at 800 milliseconds. Click OK. Make sure we do select go to Stinger Transition and select Demo. All right, so Demo is now set in Transition. You can see right here in the window. And if we switch scenes, we get the effect of the Stinger Transition using the Demo. 
So I like that a lot. The green and blue kind of uh, high tech kind of gear icons, and then it zooms back out, and you see the picture. It's pretty awesome. We'll go back to the main screen. Cool effect, right? I've used this demo one quite a bit as well. It looks really good. And again, uh, the idea of these is just to kind of cover your scene switching and making it look better. If we do like nothing here, this is what normally it looks like switching scenes with nothing whatsoever, not even a fade. We'll switch to the full cam. It's just instantaneous and that's fine um, if you want to go that route. Um, some people do, but again, it really depends what you want to do for your content creation, whether you're recording videos or live streaming. So we'll go back. Now we're going to import uh, a Stinger transition as well. Click on the arrow down here, hover over Stinger transition, and click Add Transition. All right, so source files here. You're going to be importing your source file. So whether you downloaded a free transition online you found, or you purchased one as well, we'll show you some websites you can purchase them on later on. You'll be importing that file here. It's going to basically convert uh, that file, which will either be a .move file or a .png file, into a WebM file, which is used in Expert Broadcaster for the transition. So we'll click and find this transition here. We can rename this. This is one I actually created um, for my friends who does. Uh, live streaming of video games and recordings. Her name is BWA Switch. She loves Animal Crossing videos, so this is one I made for her. And she doesn't even know it yet, actually. This is a surprise for her. So let's call it Animal Crossing BWA. As you can see here, transition point. It's already at 2050 for milliseconds. We'll keep that as is. That's how it should be. Click on Convert and Add Stinger, and it will convert. It takes a minute or two at most. All right, great. So conversion complete and Stinger has been successfully added. That's awesome. Click OK. OK, and it's done. Now let's find it. Click on the little arrow for transitions. Hover over Stinger transition and in alphabetical order. It's up at the top here, Animal Crossing BWA. We can click the cogwheel here anytime for any of the transitions we actually import, allowing us to change the names or change a transition time once again. But usually I keep the transition time set how it is because it was built for that time frame. Click OK. All right, so make sure we actually set it here. So hover over this and click Animal Crossing BWA switch. And now this will show, so let's check it out. We'll switch from this scene over to our full uh, cam once again. Pretty cool, right? So we have uh, the Animal Crossing logo and her pixel avatar in the picture. And we have some colors that kind of fit Animal Crossing as well. And that swipes from one side of the screen to the next, changing our scene source in a very professional looking way. So this will be great for her in her Animal Crossing live streams. We'll go back. You also hear some of the sounds too. So some of the transitions have sounds once again, and some don't. Uh, the sound is pretty cool. It's usually kind of a, a fairly quiet noise. It's usually like a whoosh or some kind of effect like that, uh, giving it a kind of a cool little uh, extra addition, extra touch to it. So I have a bunch of transitions here I've had made for myself and also made. Uh, I have one for my ASMR videos. Here it is, NCC ASMR. Click on this. And I also made this one for myself as well. So we'll switch scenes really quickly. So after you get a bunch, of course, for yourself here, whether they're free or you purchase a few, you can have a whole bunch listed in your transitions here. And then just switch between the ones you need for your recordings or live streams. All right, let's switch over to the ASMR one. Here we go. One, two, three. And that's pretty cool. Now there's no alpha transparency with that one. That's just a, a fade with my logo and a fade out back to the next scene. We'll go back. So some transitions will differ. We also have a few that I bought over the years. This one's pretty cool. This is a red one. It's called Trox X. So that's set now in our transition settings. Go back to the full cam. And that is a really cool um, kind of soft effect of changing scenes. No sound with that one whatsoever. If you ever want to favorite them, you can. Uh, if you have one that's on the one you like, for instance, this uh, one we just chose, we can click the star and then we'll add it to our favorites. That way they're all kind of organized in a certain spot. Click the arrow here. 
And we have our favorites right here. So I have two favorites right now. We always go to the trash bin with those if we want to. And get rid of those favorites. So that's kind of a cool little feature too for adding favorites for your transitions. I'll show you one more that I actually purchased a while back as well. Click on door. This one actually has some audio, so we'll go back to the main scene. It's a pretty cool looking effect. I've used that for some of my magic live streams in the past. And I'll show you one more for my gaming that we use for quite a bit as well. And we'll switch over to the full screen again of Cam. There we go. So a pretty cool uh, transition effect. I'll go back. So if you're interested in checking out some of those transitions we showed you earlier on, uh, go to movegraph.com. This is where I actually purchased some of those transitions that were kind of stuck. Now these will not include any logos of your own or anything like that, so you kind of have to just use them as they are. But they are pretty cool for giving yourself a professional looking transition, even with no particular branding to it. Uh, you can probably find colors that match your content. So there's a bunch of them here. There's the door one here, this is the red version of that. Here's a Trox one I use as well. There's all kinds of colors and different patterns here. So take a look at movegraph.com, click on Stinger Transitions. They're very affordable, only $9 here. Some do include audio, some don't. You can also click on them to see what they look like. So we'll click on Trox Blue here. And look over the product page, it has a video here. You can play to show what the transition might look like for your streamer recording. looks pretty cool so very similar to the red one we actually used earlier on just in a more of a blue hue here around the transition so yeah the audio is included with this one here and these are already set up to go for xsplit obs and slobs as well again this is nine dollars so pretty affordable if you're looking to add more uh, transitions to your content so again, these Stinger transitions are meant to just um, create a nice little animation between cutting from one scene to the next. And they usually include a logo, a picture, maybe some brief text. Uh, it's more meant for branding as well, helping you brand your presentation or live stream. So there you go, a really easy way to make your recordings and live streams look that much more professional. Keep in mind, sports broadcasts, news broadcasts, TV shows, movies have all used transitions like this in the past, so why don't you as well? Uh, even just with the basic transitions, those can make things look even better than what you're doing right now. So if you're interested, I do customize some of the transitions you saw today. Um, my email is included below in the description. So email me, I can customize some of the colors for you, and also adding your own logo or picture to it too. Thanks for watching. I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show. Have a great day.